bio identification and microchip implants are here. Are you ready to have your veins scanned every time you use your bank account? Are you ready to use a digital tattoo or a microchip implant to unlock your telephone? Once upon a time, we read about such technologies in science fiction novels, but now they're here. The era of widespread biometric identification and microchip implants is upon us, and it is going to change the way we live. Proponents of these new technologies say that they will make our private information and our bank accounts more, much more secure. But there are others that warn that these kinds of Big Brother technologies will set the stage for even more government intrusion into our lives. In the wrong hands, such technologies could prove to be an absolute nightmare. Berkeley's has just announced that it is going to become the first major bank in the Western world to use vein scanning technology to control access to bank accounts. There will even be a biometric reader that consumers plug into their computers at home. Berkeley's is launching a vein scanner for customers as it steps up its biometric recognition technology to combat banking fraud to make you feel safer, of course. Uh, the bank has teamed up with the Japanese technology firm Hitachi to develop a biometric reader that scans a customer's finger to access accounts instead of using passwords or PIN numbers. The biometric reader, which plugs into a computer's, uh, customer's computers at home, uses infrared light to scan blood flow in a person's finger. The user must then scan the same finger a second time to confirm a transaction. Each vein profile will be stored on a SIMS card inside the device. Vein recognition technology is used by some banks in Japan and elsewhere at ATM machines. But Berkeley said it is the first bank globally to use it for significant account transfers. But Berkeley's is not the only one that is making a big move into the biometric identification world. Online retailing behemoth Alaba is going to start using the fingerprint scanning in its attempt to make their transactions more secure and make you feel good about yourself as well. Alaba, the giant Chinese online retailer, is integrating fingerprinting technology into its All Play, Alipay wallet application. Foxconn, the Taiwanese manufacturer of the iPhone and iPad, threw nearly 500, uh, 5 million at Norway's Next Barometrics, which develops fingerprint scanning technology back in May. And earlier this month, it took 10% stake for 2 million in AirSig, a Taiwanese company that uses smartphones, built-in gyroscopes to track air handwriting. The company says AirSig provides three factors of authentication, your signature, your phone, and the way you sign with a flourish in mid-air. It's only a matter of time before more banks and online retailers, major websites, start using this kind of technology. And then it's not just, it's just a matter of time before you won't be able to use anything digitally whatsoever without having a mark in your hand or your forehead, just like the Bible warned us about all those years ago. There's a spiritual aspect to the mark of the beast and there's a physical aspect to the mark of the beast. Is this not the physical aspect of the mark of the beast that the Bible spoke of? All those thousands of years ago. That's where I get a lot of my little toys. Yeah. Program. Okay. So it's it's live. <laughs> You've been doing it. So pain management. Um, have you ever heard of Lamont's class? Like for pregnant ladies. So the breathing technique. It's uh, it's got a very specific purpose. Um, when they're going. He, he, like that it's not because of the breathing what they're trying to do is make the brain focus on a rhythm right and timing and keeping that timing so uh, what they do is they focus on a point anywhere just focus your eyes on a point and you start breathing in a very deliberate method, you know rhythm so you're like it's not it's very it's in out in out and so that that process of focusing on that breathing will alleviate some of the pain so while you're brain's busy, basically, you're overloading the CPU. Mm -hmm. um, so you can try to do that, or you can just, uh, you know, grin and bear it, or whatever. Um, yeah. So we're going to get rid of the animal chip. Oh, there's one. They don't preload these ones. That's great. Oh, no, that is it. So that's that's the chip with the biobond coating, this white coating. 
So that, that coating is what uh, the body grows into and uh, locks in place. So we want to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Now this has got um, isopropyl alcohol, so that's going to be quite stingy. Yeah. So, let me get that ready. Okay, so that's going to be good. So basically we're going to look for a place right in between. So you've got a, a nice uh, squishy area there, which is great. So we're basically just going to pinch up and go in, inject, and then I'm going to pr press and pull out, and then I'm going to give you the gauze and just put pressure. So. Oh, of course, it's brand new. <laughs> I'm going to use this to just poke it. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Pretty exciting. <laughs> a little bit of blood in there. So go ahead and just keep pressure there. All right. 